I get fewer than 40 classroom hours a term. Um, and so I can't schedule long amounts of peer feedback, even though I know how pedagogically useful it is. We would do this complicated thing of like, okay, so everybody trade assignments, which was hard itself, you know. We had our administrative assistant actually figuring out, okay, this person gets this and this person gets this. But then the actual evaluations that students did for each other's work, you'd look at them and they would be so so grammar focused. Because it's anxiety provoking, it's much easier to have a conversation about, I think there should be a comma here. And you descend from peer feedback into peer editing. And peer editing is not a good use of class time. If you give somebody a, a piece of work and say, give this a score out of 10, this is an incredibly difficult task for them to do. It's very broad, it's very soupy, um, and it feels very abstract and not very valuable. I would definitely say Compare was really student friendly. It was very well organized. It allowed me to submit my projects and assignments really easily. There will be a box with the text that the prof has entered the question into. And then you, you scroll down and you see this little text box it's a fairly robust, you can type text into it, you can do equations, you can upload a video, you can put a picture in it. So you do that to actually just submit your assignment. And then once the submission phase is over, you can go back and you can click on the compare button. You press on it, boom, you have your two projects in front of you and you're set to compare. Simple as that. They see two answers side by side, so they can see both of them at the same time. Then there's a which of these is more effective they choose one, and then below that is a feedback box for each author. So they can provide that feedback to their peer in an anonymous but supportive way. What Compare has allowed me to do is to give my students much more reflective time, peer feedback time, self-assessment time than I could possibly allocate. I use it in pretty much every course I have the opportunity to because it's so simple. It hooks into the learning management system now. It allows a novice to do this in an environment that is fairly safe. It's anonymous. The anonymity of Compare is what gives them the confidence to offer genuine feedback. It allows you not only to give positive feedback, but also critical and, you know, I would say negative feedback, right? Just so that they can improve. It's really the difference between asking them to take an abstract set of values and apply it to an object versus being able to reflect on how two different things are meeting a set of outcomes. If you see one project, you're like, okay, maybe this is like how the guidelines of it should be. But when you have multiple projects there for you to look at, it makes you think more, right? It makes you critique each project in a different way. The act of comparing, it lets you notice like, well, this is different and this is different. This difference is what makes this one better. And so it makes it much, much clearer why one thing is of higher quality than another. You get to see, okay, yeah, this project might have all the elements in there, but you can do it in a better way, right? And that helps you learn. Having the opportunity to incorporate all those different ways of doing things into the way that you do it is leading towards mastery.